One of our favorite things about Thanksgiving time is when Mad Max rolls out their gobblerito and it's back and even bigger and better than ever because now you can take and bake. And here to explain exactly what that is, is executive chef Bill Fuller. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Awesome to come down here. I think it's 35 degrees. I know. It's sunny. The sun's going to come out when we're done. You're, so. See, you're in short sleeves. So you're one of those guys that's in shorts in December, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Although I had a coat on before you came out. Just, you know, for TV, I took it off. So uh, you intrigued right. me this morning with tequila and cider. So I've, I always like to drink either cold or hot cider with a little bourbon in it. And some years ago, I'm like, why don't I put some tequila in there? Yeah, why not? And it's great. Yeah. It's a great. And so I got some nice hot cider here. I got a little bit of tequila. I'm just going to I'm just going to gooch it up just just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. There you go. And then I brought my nutmeg grater. And I'm just going to put one tiny grating of nutmeg. Who doesn't have one of these? Everybody should have one of these because if you have this, it's oh, it's so much better. So I will let you warm your hands and maybe oh. your mouth on that. No, don't burn your mouth. And I love how you got the elusive PTL mug. I, here. I called ahead with the request you did. form. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So gobbleritos. One of the things we did this year is we know a lot of people aren't going to be traveling for Thanksgiving, and I, I don't think a lot of people really want to do the whole thing. So we're offering. This weight at take and bake package wow, where you get six gobbleritos, a salad, gravy, cranberry sauce, two dressings. This goes with a salad and instructions. And then you get preheat your oven to 350, put the gobbleritos in for about 30 to 40 minutes, heat the gravy up on the stove, boom, you got gobbleritos at home. And you have encouraged me to lift this up just yes, to feel, feel the weight. Feel the heft of the gobbleritos okay. tray. All right, here we go. It's, it's not special effects there. This could be Saturday night for me. I'm, I'm not lying. It's, it's, it's not a bad, it's, it's a good deal. And so what we were really missing, especially because we can't have guests in the kitchen, every year you come in and, we and make a bunch every of gobbleritos. year you begrudgingly make us all gobbleritos. Well, and I'm going to leave this here, by the way, so on <laughs> Thursday, who's ever working can like take and bake. Go, just go to town. Just go to town. All right, so right, gobbleritos. So for anybody who doesn't know, which should be nobody. <laughs> a gobblerito is a warm tortilla, some mashed potatoes, some stuffing. Whoa, stuffing everywhere. Don't lose the stuffing. Don't lose the stuffing. And your mashed potatoes have black beans in them. That's Well, that's what makes it Mad Max. Yeah. A little bit of turkey, which I heated up in the gravy, and some corn. Yeah. All right. And now? The magic moment. We're going to roll it up. So you fold it over, you tuck it back, you pop the ends, and then you continue the roll. Beautiful. My, one of my favorite parts, and you top it all with gravy. And you need more gravy. One of my favorite parts about this is the cranberry sauce. And I know not everybody is a big fan of cranberry sauce, but I love it. I need extra. There's cranberry sauce debates, and I don't understand why people don't like it, but um. Randy Bauman was talking about it yesterday on, on, on air, and he said he wouldn't eat cranberry sauce until he ate gobbleritos. There you go. So it's the season. It's, it's, the, it's the entry point for the cranberry eating. And there you go. It looks beautiful. Now, Bill, while we have you here, I know this has been such a tough time for so many restaurants, and you guys don't just have one, you have many. So how has this whole thing been for you? You know, it's, it's, it's been a, a, a new challenge every day. Yeah. Um, you know, first there was the initial shutdown, go to takeout only, and then slowly we got to reopen and we've had to adjust back and forth. And um, the good thing is it's taught us a lot about our business yeah. and about the restaurants and what really is important and not important. And it's taught, a lot of, taught us a lot about our people, you know, watching our people really kind of rise to the occasion and deal with the changes and have a positive attitude has been the, the most amazing part. Yeah. We have some wonderful people that are in our company that have just really like taken the challenges. I mean, you have diminished capacity, you have product that doesn't show up, you have, uh, lower sales, you have customers that come in and are angry about the mask. Like there are all these challenges and our people day after day have really, really been hitting it hard. When we talk about essential workers and being on the front line, we have relied so heavily on restaurants and going in and the ability to go out to eat. And you guys are on the forefront of all of this too. Right, and a lot of people question the essential business in the beginning, but I think it was uh, 2015 was the first year that uh, restaurant spending outstripped grocery store spending. So. Yeah. You know, when the pandemic hits, more than half of the food America eats comes out of a restaurant of some yeah. sort. And so there was no way 
to close them down because there was no way that the rest of the system was going to keep up. Well, Bill, thank you for being there for us. And please tell all of your staff, your servers, the bar staff, everyone behind the scenes that we say thank you for what you're doing. And when do we call ahead to make these orders? Oh, you need to call today to pick up today or tomorrow. Okay. And you can do it online at MadMex.com. You can call your local favorite MadMex. Um, and like I said, there's pickup slots tomorrow. You pick it up, throw it in your fridge. Thursday, you can break into it or Friday or Saturday. I love it. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. Always good to see you. I'm digging into that as soon as we go to commercial break. David, I'll send it back in to you. Oh, Heather and Bill, I am just so jealous. And the Gobblerito with the cranberry sauce on the side, I'm just weighing in right now. Cran cranberry sauce is definitely needed, in my opinion, but looks fantastic.